boy. Chevys, rev up your engines. Todd, just flip out those tow mirrors and Fords, just do the best you can. We got a clean Duramax and we got a new project truck coming to the channel today. Yeah, we got her all shined up because we are going to a truck meet down in Harrisburg with our buddy Send It Steve and a bunch of other uh, folks from the area and some that are coming from pretty far away. So we thought we'd get her all cleaned up and she is looking good. Still got a hood that doesn't fit. We got a grill that's real loose. We got a light that rattles around and we got a bumper that's kind of out of fitment. So we got a lot of things still to do. Oh, these tow mirrors. Who didn't level the tow mirrors? You did all this work and then we didn't level the tow mirrors. Some folks were asking about the inside. I realize I haven't shown that too much on camera, but the inside is looking good as well. Real dirty here. Um, got some plastic that's a little bit worn, so we're going to try to replace all of that stuff here coming up. Uh, our new seats from the seat shop looking great. Uh, have not found a replacement for the steering wheel yet because um, it's this fancy carbon fiber one. We even tried a hydrographics place that said they couldn't dip one of the like Escalade wood steering wheels um, for some reason. I don't know because I think this is a dip from everything I can tell, but... They didn't want to do it, but it is looking pretty nice inside. It smells clean, new, all those things. Still have not gotten a new headliner yet. Actually, we really haven't done any work at all. Right now, we're really not talking about the Duramax. We're going to get this out of the way, and we are going to show you the new project truck for the channel. That's right. We got my buddy Zach here from Vermont. I don't know why we're friends. Uh, <laughs> he has a 2018 F-150, as you can see, and he was talking about doing some modifications, and I thought maybe m me and our friends at Rough Country could help out. So, Zach, what happened is, is he's poor. Pretty much. Doesn't work that hard. So he's like, look, give me the most basic grandpa truck as possible. Like, well, I want the steel wheels. Yep. I want the hail damage on the roof. Oh, yeah. Everything like that. And if you would have worked a little harder, you know, maybe you could have had, like, you know, a lariat. But he didn't. So I'm going to try to bail him out here. And we are going to turn this truck in from a grandpa truck to a pretty sick little build, I think. And we're going to do it in a week. Now, Zach, you don't know exactly what's wow. gonna happen so worried. he's already like unfollowed me from all the social media said he won't go on to youtube or anything like that so we're gonna be posting videos we're gonna make this our time about a week long it'll probably be two weeks of videos to come out but we're gonna transform this truck from a base f-150 i mean like look inside here he's got the rubber floor mats he's got the dirty seats he's got the worst chime in the world fords are terrible um, so we're going to get this cleaned up. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to transform this truck. We got a broken windshield. Our friends at Susquehanna Valley Auto Glass are going to come put a new windshield in for us. And we're really going to, uh, change this thing around. Let me take you guys inside, show you the pile of parts we got for this truck. We got our Nitto Ridge Grapplers in a 295 6020. We got a set of wheels from Rough Country here. We got a whole new lift kit um, with shocks. We got running boards. We got an exhaust over here to make it sound a little bit better. We got a whole bunch of goodies in these boxes right here. Some of them are surprises, some of them are not. Now I will say, we're not doing anything too, too crazy. Uh, Zach uses this for construction. He has a mediocrely successful construction company. Obviously he would have better wheels on it already if it was really successful um but you know it is what it is and so uh we're not going to do anything too crazy because obviously if we go to like a 10 inch lift you wouldn't ever be able to use this truck for anything functionally so um we're going to keep it tasteful simple but show you really what you can do if you buy the cheapest truck possible 
and what you can transform it into. Now, the one thing he did splurge for, which I got to give him a little bit of credit for, he's like, no eco boost. We're going for the 5 0 Coyote. So um, that should probably blow up before too, too long here. Not known for great reliability. All right, buds, you ready to say goodbye to this thing for a little bit? I think so. All right. So, like, if I total it while you're gone. I got gap insurance. All right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Actually, it would work out better. <laughs> One of the big reasons I was excited to build this truck is because Rough Country has just come out with a ton of new products for a bunch of different trucks, um, but they came out with a lot for the new F-150s, and I wanted to showcase them, as well as everyone asked us to build the rebuild F-150 over here, and uh, we really couldn't do that because it was already sold, and we were planning on building this truck over here. So for you Ford guys out there, we're hooking you up. We're going to do a sick build, and honestly, I don't even hate Fords. I mean... You know, don't lie, bro. <laughs> I mean, they're a nice car with a bed. All right, then with that, we're going to hop in the Duramax and we're going to head down to this uh, little bit of a truck show here. I think we're doing it for Weston Champlin. He's uh, he's laid up a little bit and uh, send to Steve thought it'd be fun to get a little group together uh, and be able to wish him well. So we're going to hit the road. All right, we're, we're way early here to this little bit of a meet. All that you got to do when you pull in, though, just to make everything right is you just got to push that, push that back a little bit and act like that didn't happen. Yeah, Steve coming in. A little bit of an excursion here. What's going on, man? No organization in No. <laughs> I've never even been up in this parking lot before, yeah. man. I figured this would be like the perfect spot because there's so much room over here. Dude, it is. It is nice, man. For sure. Good stuff, man. Got a little lift on the old uh, Ranger there. Oh, it's a Sprint. The Sprints are rare, man. Oh. That didn't take long. So then we got sent to Steve's F450, seen that a bunch of times on the channel. Huge thanks to him for setting up this little meet here. So we got the manual, what year? 03. 03, all right. So LB7, has, right? It LBZ front end or, yeah. version. Okay. Yeah, it is an LB7. Yeah, LB7. All right. That is awesome. Yeah, you'd never find another one of these. Got the, sure enough. Oh. That's cool. 65,000 miles, you said? That's clean. Oh, got the dual, dual shock, the hoop. Oh, man. I just did the headlights, just threw them okay. in today. Oh, really? First ever custom headlight build I did, yeah. Those are pretty awesome with the pods in them and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you so you had that you sent them somewhere? You do yeah, that or? I did it. Which, okay. I've never done them before. But I figured, okay. you know, they're they're eBay headlights, so they're like sixty five bucks. Okay, so, so you, you just pulled them up, apart so then. If you mess them up, it's no big deal. Yeah, pulled them okay. apart, color matched the outside pieces, color matched the pod, put the pod in, okay. and then I did the uh, the half halos. I 
gotta say there's some cool stuff out here, but this here has to be the coolest. <laughs> and it sounds awesome, man. Woo. Those are some fresh tires. Oh, just like that, we're heading out of here. Let's see if she still starts. Oh, I don't have the keys. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. Now we're back at home. Truck ran perfect as always. And uh, I am excited about this new project truck. I know that right now it doesn't look super exciting, but stick with me on it here. I think you're going to be really excited by the end of it as well. So it's, it's going to be pretty sweet. So, and it's awesome to always be able to help out a friend. And then a nice time at the meet at this afternoon. Actually had a really good turnout, especially considering coronavirus and everything like that. I don't even know if you can say that on a YouTube video anymore. Probably get demonetized. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.